Hello everyone, let's continue our adventure within um, the Python world. Today we'll discuss about um, input and output operation in Pythons. Okay, let me uncomment this uh, line of codes. Okay. In order to input uh, a value for the variable, we can use uh, the input function. And um, I will assign the results to the name variable. Let me select this line of code and press on F9. Okay, I'm invited within the interactive console to. Um, okay, let me restart. To, um, insert the volume okay input your name let's say daniel press on enter here within the variable explorer we should see the result the name variable it's a string variable is um, its value is having a daniel uh, value and the size is six um, bytes okay now I want to insert my age insert your age let's say I don't say my real name let's say 25 you see here the, the age is an integer number the value 25 Usually when we are um, capturing the values using the input function, the value, is, the value is a string. And if I want to store the value as an in integer, I need to apply the integer function against the input function to convert the result. And these are the results. Okay, for the float, it's a similar approach. Select F9, my high, let's say 190. Is not my real file, but <laughs> I'm doing this as a purpose and test purpose. Um, yeah, the float, the value for my height is uh, float because I have used the float um, float function to convert the string result to a float. Okay, let's select and run all of them. Input Daniel H. Okay. Now I want to use um, the output operations. I want to display a text message, and in between, I will place the value for my variables. Okay, I want to obtain um, this, uh, I want to display this, this message, your name is, and the value for your name, and you have the age, yeah, I, uh, the age should be displayed, comma, and we can use backspace, backslash, if, if we want to um, um, write um, the print command on multiple lines, yes? Okay, let uh, let me do all these steps in in the same running. Okay, let me comment this to run only this part of the program. Yes. Okay, save it. Okay, I'll run all this message. On the program, your name Daniel. Yeah, and you see my result. Your name is Daniel, and you have 44 years old. Your height is 187. You are you observing that the program is adding a space before and after the name of the variable? here are two spaces two spaces okay two spaces etc okay now let's go further i want to um, use um, 
the um, print uh, function but using uh, our placeholder percent %s and uh, curly brackets let's uh, run the examples for this but I will use a new set of variables okay first case I will initialize my student variable with a mask and profile is business okay let me uh, comment this comment and uncomment also this okay if we want to use the percent as placeholder we can um, insert this placeholder inside the um, um, the print function and you inside my inside my text here hello percent s comma I think you selected uh, you selected smartly your percent s profile nowadays a prosper business will make you reach great uh, a great uh, business okay okay what is the role of this placeholder percent s okay this percent s will be replaced okay uh, in, the, in the end of um, in the end of this uh, print command, yes, I put here. You can observe here. I put here um, a space, and I add a backslash. But I can remove this. No issues. Okay. In the end of the um, okay, my text, I can. I need to press space, put percent s, and. Uh, add um, the values for my variables in the order that I need to, to display okay this percent s will be replaced by the value for the very for the student name variable the second uh, percent s will be replaced by the profile the third percent s will be again replaced by the profile value the value for the profile um, variable and the last percent s will be used by the value for the student variable yeah this is the matching i can use this percent s and every time i'm using percent s inside my inside the text from from my print um, uh, function i need to put in the end of this section in the end of this section space and then percent and in order the value the name of the variables they need to replace my placeholder okay first percent s will be replaced by the value for the student name second for the profile for for the profile and the last one again with the student name okay let's see let's see the results the star kernel yes and I'll run my code here. Per, um, select and F9. And I can see here the result. Hello. And instead of first percent test, I have student name, which is mask. I think you selected smartly your business. Your business. This is before profile is the business. Okay, name of the profile. Good. Nowadays a prosper. Now there is a prosper business. Will make you rich. Great mask. Okay, this is the <laughs> uh, running of this um, program. Okay, if you want, we can add here a space and backslash and put. Okay, let me put here. Uh, yeah, backslash, and then need to put backslash. And then I need to put on the next uh, on the next line. Uh, before should be Oops. okay. Good. Yeah, we need to put space backslash. Press enter and indeed. Okay, let me run again. 
this is my my result okay the next placeholder it's uh, curly bra brackets um, the same for the curly brackets we have a similar we have a similar uh, text message but uh, in between of curly, the curly brackets we can use um, the um, ID uh, the index um, which is corresponding um, to the variables which are added um, here in the that format uh, function okay we have again um, our uh, print command um, a text in between um, double quotes and we have here our placeholder with curly brackets and in between curly brackets which we need to put the index for the for this variable okay student name will have the index 0 and profile will have the index 1 okay let me put okay let me comment on this to see the result print hello the first um, the first um, uh, the first placeholder with the index zero, it will get the value for the student name variable. Second one will, will have will, re, will be replaced by the value for the um, for the profile, which is having the index one. And similar nowadays, a prosper business will make you rich. Great mask. Here the observation is that we don't have. Um, uh, to add here a space after um, the text message we put directly that format parentheses and the uh, name of our variables why I'm having here our student name ah, I put <laughs> okay let me put here student name again I'm calling yeah I'm having here an error it this is a live <laughs> Um, okay, tutorial. What is the explanation? I'm trying to use these variables, but the values are not accessible because I have commented my code. Okay, let me put again these values. Copy. Okay, placeholder. And now it should disappear. Okay, run. And this is my result. This is the percent zero, uh, percent zero curly brackets and the index zero, curly brackets, index one, index one, curly brackets, index one, and uh, this is curly brackets, index one. Okay, good. But in uh, real life, we can mix all these uh, commas percent s and um, curly brackets placeholders okay let's uh, complete our demonstration hello yeah we have here uh, just um, simple text comma and we need to input the name of the variable name student name which should be mask then we will come backslash to backslash enter okay let me uncomment this backslash 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 okay let me put again here my result okay hello student name comma backslash because I want to put here my um, uh, my code should be in for a proper visibility okay, I heard that you are studying percent s okay this percent s should be replaced by the values okay by the first variable uh, from this section we have here space percent for the profile okay a curly brackets for the index one it will be replaced by the profile value the next person the next curly brackets one it will be again replaced by the um, 
a variable profile. Okay, the second percent test will be replaced by the, the student um, by the student name. Uh, this with um, this uh, placeholder curly brackets percent one will be replaced by the value for the profile. You are zero. Okay, you are zero from. Okay, you are a student. You are you are a mask from uh, business. Yeah. This will be replaced by this, and this will be replaced by this. And that's it. We have two percent s, percent s, and percent s. First percent s, it's created with this profile. Second percent s with the student name, and the rest is the same. Good. Let's uh, run our program. And usually we you, we can use this in our let's say tests. But uh, yeah, it's very uh, very important to understand um, how is used the placeholder. For the placeholder, we need to use the format function and the list of um, variable. First variable will have the index zero, second index one, etc. Third index two, and here for the um, you know, percent as placeholder. When we are encountering here a percent s, we need to add after a space, space percent, parentheses, and put the list of variables in the order that uh, we need. If you have here four percent s, you need to have here four variables in the percent uh, parentheses section. If you have here Three percent s. We should see here three values for the inside the percent um, percent parentheses section. Okay. Thank you for your attention and practice to learn more.